Good morning guys, welcome to today. It's Saturday and surprisingly Sophie's up. Sophie's up early today, I wonder why. Maybe because I said you gotta help me with your horse in the morning because we have to figure a whole new plan of letting everybody out and bringing them in and there's a whole slew of stuff we have to do. So we got all the grain buckets and we got an extra grain bucket now. Actually they are different colors. Yeah. Morning Penny. Morning Pen. Morning girls. Willow in the back. So now we have a different feeding routine. So now Storm gets fed. Penny, Storm. Let all the other horses out here and then go out there. Stole your mom's broken ladder to make this yesterday. It's really sturdy. Some extra wood. Use some of my chicken wood that I'm gonna use. I had to use, raise that up, and I don't even think that's high enough for this horse. Uh, you know, it wasn't too bad for Chino though, but Chino did the same thing. So now I'm gonna open this door and let them out. We have to get Willow out of there. We have to get Gracie and, and Honey out of there. So that horse can go in there. So you might have to lead her out. I mean, this is until then they get used to each other. Okay. Come on, Gracie. You're good, man. Oh, he's jumping. Man. For um, Willow, put a little lead rope on her. Just to be safe. Come on, get going, Missy. Stop, wait. <laughs> Stop. Stop, you're blocking the way. Get going. Why would you do that in the middle of the way? For the most part, the horse was excellent in the stall. Drank all its water. Um, I was watching the camera and pretty much all night just to make sure everything was going good. And she slept in the stall. She slept in her stall because she's full of shavings this morning. So, uh, a little bit of quick fix modif modifications last night, like really quick. I was thinking, what am I gonna do now? Because having these open for horses that know each other is a great thing, but having a new horse, you really wanna get r stalls with bars and stuff because Storm and the new horse were like poking their heads at each other over this area, so. I quickly made this, it's pretty sturdy. I mean, it could probably get knocked off, but it's pretty sturdy. It's an old broken ladder. I just put this for strength and I put a piece of plastic that I had there. So they can't put their heads around and bite each other. <laughs> then I had to put that extra piece of wood, so I'm gonna have to go and buy more wood for my wood guy to uh, do that to fix that up. Yeah, so that's the modification I had to make last night, spur of the moment. These stalls work out perfectly, except when you get a new horse in, you actually need a, a good place to, you need bars. All the girls are in here now, I don't know where Storm is. So it turns out we're all alone. Laura took off on us today. She went to take care of her grandkid and never came back. We were supposed to go to the tag store, so I cut all the grass. I even took care of the fireplace there. See, I moved all the wood. For some reason, they decided to pile all this wood beside the fireplace so I can't cut grass. I don't know what logical thing that was, but... Anyways, cut the grass. Fireplace looks ready to go. Can have fires now. What's your horse doing? In the shelter. In the shelter, I put extra hay out there already. Did you put more hay? Yeah, so I put extra hay out there. Uh, the boy goat is doing really good now. He was hanging around with one of the other boys, so. There, that's the dog screaming. No, he was screaming. <laughs> oh, was he? He's fine now. Debbie's poor car is covered in these seeds. Seeds of love, I call it. Seeds of love. This stuff makes a mess on your car. You sitting in the back? 
I was gonna sit in the back and be chauffeured around. You can't fit in the back. That's true. All right, so since Laura's away, the mice will play and we're taking Gabby's car. She's driving. Mom's gone. It's great to have a chauffeur. Yeah, mom's gone. She left early this morning while you were sleeping. Oh. I never came back. Where? She left us for a baby. Did she visit it last night though? Yeah, she visited last night, but now she's babysitting. She's babysitting and helping. The child's like two days old and they need a baby. Helping the mama. Help. <laughs> the child's two days old. <laughs> Gabby's funny. Gabby said the child's two days old and they need a babysitter. Well, I'll tell you a story. When you were born, Oma, my mother, stayed a whole week. And cooked us dinner. Cooked us dinner, remember? Do you guys know? You don't remember. But I think even when. No, I think. I think Laura had enough. And then. I'm <laughs> her there when you were born, Sophie. So. So she did something different. She made us a lot of frozen meals that were done like cabbage rolls and all, all this yummy food and. And, uh. Had it frozen and so I had a week's worth of meals when Sophie was born. But yeah, Oma spent the whole week. No, I'm sure she did that when you were born. And not when you were born. I can't remember now, but that's what mothers do. They spend uh, spend time with their new grandbaby and and uh, that's where your mom is today. So we're doing everything. So we're going to the tax store to get some stuff that we didn't get yesterday. We're gonna get treats, bug spray, new halter, I guess. Why do we need a new halter? All right, we're at the tax store and Gabby came in. Stuff. And why did you come in? Offer advice. Offer advice on a horse that's like yours. <laughs> 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 And Sophie wants to get bell boots. I'm not used to full. I'm used to small, medium, large. Yeah, he's, she's got big feet. Also. Extra full. So that's large, extra large. Do you need? Do you really need extra large? Well, I don't know. But she has big hooves, so she does. Like Storm is yeah. a medium, Chino was a large. She has way bigger hooves than Chino. So yeah, she probably. All right, all right. Do you think those are those will come off though? Like these, these ones. These are the kind I have for Storm. These ones slip on and they don't come off. These are the kind we have for Storm. Feet are huge. I'm not are slipping you? them on. You're gonna slip them on. Me, I'm not strong enough for that. All I can't right. take off Storm. Fine, whatever. All right, we need a halter and bug spray. Here's all the halters, halters. Oh, here's here's light pink. Is this a light pink one? Yeah, that's pink. What size? Yeah, we're not here for many ones. We're here for. She doesn't, need, she doesn't really have a big head. Is this? Full spinner. Is this it? She's a normal horse size halter. What size is that? This is extra large. Extra large? Uh, it's an extra full. She's using a full halter and it fits her. Oh, uh, well, so they don't have size. pink. You're gonna have to go with yellow. No. That's a cool color, man. Yellow? That's. Look at that. And look, because it's bright, it'll go on her really good. And then you pick out a bright green one, right? This red one. This red one. Look, this is more of a girl's color. I wouldn't settle. If you want one, just get them the order you want. I love this color. Then you gotta get these to match. No. Yeah, Sophia. Yeah. You can't have like this and then have pink boots. No, the brighter the boots, the easier to find. True. So if you get this, it's easy to find. Okay. How get... would you lose a halter? We need treats. These these are the treats we always get, Martin Streets. You found it. Alright, that's the last one. Yeah. Alright, we got it. We got the big bucket. Looks like a fly mask. So far, so good. Appreciate it. What kind of fly mask do they got? $32. And there you have it. We just spent $250 on, looks like nothing. <laughs> I mean, the fly spray was the most expensive. It's $100 for fly spray. 
But believe it or not, at PV Mart, it's five dollars cheaper. So I brought cookies home. <laughs> Happy took one of every single one. I'm gonna get them later. Yep, save Take them. them gone. Take them before they're gone because Dad'll eat them. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Right. Here, take them in the house for me. Or are you going in the house? Are you coming to the, to the barn? I'm going to the barn. <laughs> All right. Good up morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. I don't know if Nick told or if Dad, Sam told you. I was at Nick's all day since 9 a.m. because their baby didn't sleep all night and he had to be out of town and he didn't want to leave them alone. Like, moms need help recuperating after having a baby. And when you don't sleep, it can lead to like postpartum depression and worse. So it's so important, so important that um, I go and help out when I can. So I got to sit and snuggle that baby all day. I'm home now. All right, so Sophie went shopping. I didn't get to go because I was busy, but I want to see what you got. Okay, we got treats first. Right. Because we needed treats. I was going to buy a big giant bag. Well, that's what we got. See, if I had gone, I would have got a big giant bag so Stormy and Penny and everybody else could have some. Pink bell boots. Pink bell boots are there. Do you think those are big enough? Yeah. Think those are the right size? Are they pink or red? Pink. All right, awesome. Did I grab the and then, yeah. Okay. You got purple? Yeah, because oh. it was the other one. She doesn't one. like it, see? She does Did like they it. have pink? They had nice but yellow. It, what? No. Oh, she would look so gorgeous in yellow. yellow. No. It was, really nice. it was lime green. Oh, it, it was, was lime like, green. It was like it was like lemon. Like, all right. So lime green. All right. Well, that's fine till Christmas. <laughs> it just kind of looks brown. Boring. And blue, or I don't know. But yeah, you know what? Who cares? She has something new just for her, so she feels like we love her. She's like, yes, love me. So he's gonna dress her up. You got the bug spray? Yeah. Did you see the music downtown? Yeah, there's music, yeah. yeah. I, you know, it's funny is there's music in the little town down there and it's like a shenanigan thing. There's music, music they're having a everywhere. music day and there's music all, all, over, all the over the streets where so we live. So we passed by this one place, <gasps> this girl was singing an old song. Huh, remember and you like, said? And she's like, oh, that's old, that's oldie, that's awful. I know. Oh. Sam and wanted then, to go. And then though, <laughs> listen, she hooks boring. up her car to their phone and starts playing old music. <laughs> and I was like, this is newer than your old music that you're playing. What the Whatever. Music is better than that old music. That's like. So Sam asked us the other day, do you guys want to go to this tomorrow? We can walk all yeah, through town. It was, it was happening. It, there's a lot of people, but it's pouring rain, so. But next weekend, there's a barbecue and then there's a free yard sale. A free yard sale? Yeah, where you just throw stuff out and then people go and pick it up. Oh, wow, that's super cool. So it's not a yard sale, it's just throwing your junk on the Yeah. Side. Aren't you glad I babysat? Nick gave me all these cookies. He went to Costco and he got me all these cookies. Now you get a special treat from the sacrifice that I gave. It's actually kind of cold out. Uh, I, if I had been home all day, Sophie and I would have shot our, her video that she wants to do. People think I'm just like keeping the horse secret for a reason, but Sophie wants to do it a special way. I don't even think she pops. It doesn't even pop on her. They are light. They're small. They're extra large and they're, the bell boots are kind of small on her. Apparently she threw a fit this morning because she wants to be with the other horses and we're going to put her with the other horses But it's raining today and I didn't want her to go crazy and them all go crazy and run and uh, they don't fit No, they don't even touch the ground. They don't even touch the ground. So if you do them we up way extra looser large and they're too they're small. Small. She got extra large bell boots Gabby and they're too small. So storm was a storm is a medium. She knows an extra large and This horse is bigger than an extra large yeah, okay, you're, I'm gonna move her in here. So, anyways, this morning when I was gone, they made the executive decision to put Willow with her, and I guess it's been great all day. There she is, <laughs> over there with her herd. They all came to stay with her. Isn't that horses like? Are oh my gosh, honey is a mess. But horses are so weird. They, wow, she's soaked. Um, they're like mean to each other constantly. Oh, you're soaked too. How come she's not soaked? <laughs> Um, they're mean to each other all the time and then the minute you separate them they come and support one another they're like it's okay we feel bad for you anyway so in the morning I'm gonna let her out 
with all the other horses to eat the grass. Plus, I have all the footage of everything that's happened. I have footage of Sophie riding her. I have footage. <laughs> she's so that's cute. Not big bow boots. Oh, so you're gonna take them back? Yeah. Maybe we'll order them. So I have footage of her coming. I have footage of her first night here, her first day here. Like she is funny. She, we put them in, here in the stall. She's in the stall between, she's in the middle stall. And Gabby went in storm stall last night and she left the door open. And this horse, Saw Gabby leave the door open and slam the gate closed with her nose. She did it to Sophie too. So she does exactly what Penny does. She slams gates, closes doors. I didn't want to put Willow with her because Willow's a mini and this horse is big and has big feet. Um, Chino was with Willow though and I didn't know how she'd be because she's a mare. And so I was driving when they were trying to figure it out and I couldn't answer because I don't check, I don't drive and talk or I don't drive and I'm a law abiding citizen guys. But even more, I want to live and I don't trust my driving skills good enough to drive and try and text. So anyway, I couldn't text them back, couldn't call them back and they figured it out. They just put Willow with her. She's clearly very unhappy. <laughs> this happened. <laughs> She what? She put her head over it. So uh, she was putting her head over there trying to bite Storm's butt. And then they were like kind of not really fighting, but just like kind of fighting. So Sam hung this up last night. This is sharp. I told him not to put anything sharp. Sophie's been with this horse since she came and she just hangs out in the field with her. She does everything with her. She brushes her. She's just been a totally different person. This is her first horse as like a, her last horse she got when she was eight years old. So this is like her first real riding horse that as a teenager. So it's a huge difference. She doesn't have a quarter horse butt, but she's got a butt. This is the bug spray that they got. It's a hundred dollars. It's a hundred bucks. And it's it was this, was it the last one? So what we do is we, this is like about three regular size bottles. So we pour it into other bottles, other spray bottles, and everybody kind of has their own that they can spray their horses with. So that's what we're going to do. Sophie had a good suggestion. We were going to send the boots back, the bell boots back. No, we have to. Well, why don't we I just... I don't Storm to have pink. Storm loves pink. He's a drama queen. Let's just let Storm have them and then we'll get new. We'll order some. Let's order some fun ones. We don't even know if she pulls shoes at all. We just got them because our farrier says it's a good idea to have them. Because, you guys know, most of our other horses have pulled shoes in the past. She's not like in mud or anything, but tomorrow when we let them all free, it could get crazy. But also, you guys should know that, like I said, I filmed, we've been filming everything, keeping it in a folder. So eventually, once Sophie does her little video, you guys are gonna get to see like all the stuff. Okay, so, yeah, I separated them. <laughs> Nobody's happy. <laughs> So he's been doing, <laughs> can I talk here? <laughs> I don't know if he's ever seen a dog. I know she's watching us. She would love to come down here and eat this grass. Listen, you're okay. So this one is the yellow one. Yeah, so I uh, put him with the boys last night. I watched on the camera, he did fantastic. Putting him outside, he was a lot more stressed. They all want their moms. And, but Sam came down earlier and him and the blonde boy were sitting up on that thing laying together. It's raining Even now. Even the peacocks going. What? Even the peacocks. Even the peacocks are going. But this morning, <laughs> they're so funny. But this morning I let him outside and he didn't, and Winston came in here and he's like really wants to be with them. Oh, good boy. He's so little. Anyways, he wants to be with them. And so he, instead of going around the fence, he was trying to throw his whole body through this fence. It was like horrifying. He's feral. Someone said, don't call him feral. <laughs> but that's what happens when you catch wild animals. Like say if a wild animal is in danger, like in trouble, it's like stuck or hurt or whatever. And you have to try and catch it to save it. Um, that's what they do. They just try and like get away and they throw their body into anything and they almost die. Like... He is absolutely feral and I don't, and I know that he is, everything's all new. Just like with kids, when you 
are gonna send them to school or send them away for the first time. You prepare like a long time in advance. You you socialize them and you get them used to like what's gonna happen. I don't even know if this guy's ever been outside. Like the way he's acting, he he's acting like We've had other new baby goats that have been all on their own and they do not act like him. Like he acts literally like he just was born yesterday. We kept them separate all day from their mamas and it's sad, but it's the only way to keep him safe because the moms are mean, but he's pretty stinking cute. I mean, he is so cute. He's exactly what I wanted, exactly. His genetics and plus all the white overlay. I was just hoping for not feral. <laughs> As you can see, he's doing a lot better today. Like a lot better. And he has that super annoying kind of noise. Like Blossom has it and he has it. <laughs> Are you okay? Is he shaking because he's cold or shaking because he's scared? Probably Look and see if there's, oh my gosh, look at you guys. Do you spy with your little eye something underneath there? <laughs> Laying an egg? He lives down here now. I know. There's two chickens that always come down here and one lives in this barn. I don't even know what she's eating. I'm going to have to put chicken food down here for her. You can't though. Yeah, I can put it where the goats don't go. This morning when I came down, she met me at the door. She was in the barn. Yeah, he's bonding to the boys. And that's what you want to happen. Bond them to Winston so that she, he's friendly. Because Winston's friendly. Yeah. He, oh, oh. Winston. He's like, that's mine. But he's okay with that. Like, that's not meant to kill him. That's just meant to... Like, get away from my girl. Yeah, that's just saying I'm the boss of you. And he's okay. One day he'll have hormones and you won't, Winston. And he'll be the boss of you. But hopefully, <laughs> he's so cute. Like, he is adorable. Ears. Yeah, he has frosted ears. Got him. His Listen, good. usually they don't have that reaction when they meet people or are being held for the first time. Usually they're like, ah! even if it's a stranger, they're like, oh, I know this. I've been ah! held before. I just don't know if he's ever been held before. Yeah. She but I do know that he will settle down and he's super young. Oh, he doesn't like the blonde boy. He's super young, and I know that he's only going to get better. Like, he might not be so, so super friendly. Stop. But he is going to get better. He's going to be better. <laughs> Everybody's looking through the wall at their mom. Look. <laughs> oh, look, he's friendly. Aww. No. He jumped in the water? Yeah, first he jumped in the pool, then up here he jumped in the water. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. I don't know how much Sam filmed today. Oh, they're together. I don't know how much Sam filmed today, but I'm going to end today's video because things are getting kind of crazy. And I have lots to do in the house. It's literally 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Ellie, stay out of that horse field. Let her see you, Ellie. I don't know. She's, she's probably seen dogs. She's definitely seen dogs. That is it for today's video. Tomorrow is supposed to be sunny and warm, and we are going to film Sophie's video, how she wants to introduce you guys. Probably. <laughs> not tomorrow. Why? I wanted to wait like a week. Oh, anyways. We're not trying to not show her out of meanness. Just, I had a new grandbaby and just things are not aligning. So we'll show her to you guys soon. Don't you know?